Hey guys, in today's video, Maya and I were just hanging out at the coffee shop and uh, news came out about a guy who sold all his properties in America, came out and was scammed. And I guess now he's in the hospital and stuck. Stick around. Alright guys, so a little bit uh, about what's going on here. I, I was scrolling through some of the Facebook posts in one of the expat groups and I saw this uh, and basically, and I'll flash it up here, uh, but basically an American had been, had met a girl, a Filipina on a dating site and he, over the course of some time, I guess fell head over heels for her and uh, started to plan his life over here in the Philippines with her. Now whether he's been out here before or not, I don't know. The article really doesn't say. Uh, I know they never met in person. But uh, basically he sold all his property in the U.S. Came out here to meet this great girl that he fell in love with, I guess. And he lands in Lapu Lapu, and apparently the place, the apartment that he's going to rent or buy or, or whatever, uh, doesn't exist, at least in Lapu Lapu, which is the uh, Cebu. And uh, the girl, I guess he tries to communicate with the girl, and he cannot get in contact with her. She's just disappeared. Now, he must have the name because obviously he was sending money out to her. But uh, the next thing we know is this should, we have pictures of him being in the hospital. It's not real clear on why he was in the hospital. Um, they just said he was uh, at a private hospital uh, recovering. And uh, he must be out of money because the mayor of Lapu Lapu has gotten involved and has contacted the American Embassy. So obviously that means he doesn't have the funds to probably it does mention in the article that uh, they're trying to forgive the hospital bill or, or waive it and get him back home to the U.S. Well, again, looks like he's sold all his property in the U.S. Probably doesn't have a car anymore, probably doesn't have a house. Personal possessions probably sold all on a whim from meeting a girl on a dating site that he's never met in person. She's not even at the airport, obviously, when he gets here and the apartment that he's supposed to move into doesn't even exist again at least in Lapu Lapu and God there are so many lessons here and I know myself and a billion other vloggers and just guys who live out in the Philippines or have traveled to the Philippines or most guys with common sense honestly and I don't mean to make a dig at this guy I feel really bad for him I mean any guy who's gotten rid of his possessions and been scammed out of this money uh, by somebody, I feel awful about, you know, for. I mean, his life, everything he's worked so hard for, gone. Now, he probably could contact uh, that there's this uh, Filipino senator, Rafi Tufalo. I guess he helps people out, but whether he could ever recover the money or not, I don't know. Anyway, you wouldn't, um, this, believe it or not, actually happens quite often. Maybe not to this extent where it's this extreme, but so many guys send money out to Filipinas before they've ever even met. You know, they're paying for their housing, they're paying for their schooling, uh, they're paying for medical bills that may or may not really exist. Um, you know, you, I, I just don't uh, quite understand why guys send so much money out to somebody that they've never met in person. Now I do know guys who have sent money out to girls um, and they're helping pay for their school and they say you know what I got the extra money it's not a big deal if you know but uh, for me even if you've got the extra money I still think you need to be cautious I mean uh, you're just uh, promoting being scammed or for them to continue to scam people by doing this. Now again, I know people who have sent money without ever meeting them in person and they've come out here and the girl happens to be 
um, a good catch and she's a good girl and uh, but I know guys who have built houses for girls before they've even met I mean just sent out that much money to somebody they've never met in person and I'll get I'll get comments and say well Gio you don't uh, you don't know her like I know her she's just such a good girl comes from such a good family I mean you can't possibly know that from just chatting with somebody online there is no way it you can present yourself to be any type of person online it is not hard to do and it's not hard for them to maintain maybe several relationships with different guys now again maybe this is few far and in between and it doesn't uh, represent the majority of Filipinas and I, and I truly believe that I don't think most Filipinas are scammers I think it's actually um, a low number maybe low-level scams like they just simply ask you hey I broke my phone or whatever but these are uh, what I, I what I would call low-level scams but uh, getting guys to send money who you know are selling all their possessions to buy property and stuff out in the Philippines I mean you cannot be sending that amount of money without even knowing the city of where you're gonna live knowing the apartment of where you're investing or are gonna rent or even ever meeting the girl in person I just don't know why you would ever do that I, I don't and in most guys like I said who have visited or traveled to the Philippines or live here in the Philippines even guys who haven't most guys just would not do something like that now for me personally the, the most that I would ever do beforehand would be to send money to pay for her load for her data plan or something like that so we can communicate back and forth but as far as sending money out uh, to somebody that I've never met not gonna happen um, you know even Maya agrees that it's kind of foolish for a foreigner uh, to send all this kind of money out to somebody you haven't met in person and uh, and we know of people I'm not saying our friends but we know of people that uh, send money to Filipinas and uh, guess what um, you know there's more than one guy sending money and also maybe a guy who's in a long-distance relationship and he comes out once a year or twice a year or, uh, once every other year to meet them you know they're out there playing the field having a good time on his on his dollar while uh, he thinks they're in a serious relationship long distance so if you're gonna do the long distance uh, be sure about it have met in person so you really can know the character of, of the girl and you know I would tell Filipinas the same thing you know I mean you gotta meet in person you can't just say start throwing out I love you's and um, you, know, you know expecting a guy to uh, um, love you over a long distance relationship when you haven't met in person this is why I say don't uh, don't meet at the airport don't let yourself be controlled um, immediately as stepping off the airplane you know she she's gonna you know they scoop you up and um, and from that point on you're locked in right I mean what if after a day or two you, you don't really it's not the same as it was online if she hasn't met you at the airport and she's not immediately staying with you and all her family's there and you're not staying at her house at least you get away there's a way out of it and uh, so I just say or I just tell most people that you need to be in control of the situation when you get here take things slow it's very easy to meet her after you've already um, got your hotel showered rested ate go meet her at the mall or a coffee shop take things a little bit slow maybe in, in a couple of days if things are great yeah then you can uh, have her move in with you during your time here or whatever but don't rush into these things and don't just start sending money and paying for school and building her a house before you've even met in person I just uh, I just find it crazy that uh, some people would do this now I will get the hate comments down below I always do when they'll say well Gio you're totally wrong uh, my girl was great and yes there are exceptions and 
and I think that's fantastic. And, and again, I say that the majority of girls I don't think are scammers. I think they are. Most Filipinas are are good Filipinas here. But you do get those that are going to scam you, like this poor American guy. He's sold his possessions. Came over here thinking that he was going to start a new life. He was going to buy property here, and he was going to. He met the woman of his dreams, and what happened? She's gone. She's she's gone. She doesn't even live in Lapu Lapu. The apartment that he thought he was moving to is not even in Lapu Lapu. Chances are he'll never see his money again. And uh, what does he have to show for it? Well in a hospital bed and uh, now needing help from the mayor of Lapu-Lapu and from the American Embassy to probably get back home and restart his life from scratch. From scratch, you know. It's an unfortunate uh, lesson, you know. And hopefully people can learn from it, but I still stand by my rule of thumb and that is only send money for communication maybe something for like a gift or something if it's like her birthday or something but to, to send out these loads of money to pay for her school and her housing you know before you came along she was surviving trust me and she'll be surviving just fine uh, without you once you've met in person and you've established that there's a connection that she is you know a good person. You, you get a lot more from one in-person meeting than a thousand FaceTime chats on video calls. You know, you can tell a lot more about somebody by that one person in meeting. I think most people would agree with me. So let me know what your um, thoughts and opinions are on this. How much would you send a girl? How much do you think is acceptable? You know, again, I'd like to hear your comments. Go ahead and comment down below. And guys, you know, this guy met a girl on a dating site. Does that mean that all dating sites are bad? No, but the dating sites do attract scammers. So you have to be more vigilant and more careful because this is where all the scammers are attracted to. Now, if you want a legitimate dating site that really screens the guys in the girls, but with phone calls and emails and uh, video chats even sometimes, check out Christian Filipina. There's a link down below. And guys, check out my website where you can uh, book a consultation, sign up for a free newsletter, and check out my Geo Travel Essentials that I highly recommend you have for traveling or living in the Philippines. Thank you so much, and I'll see everyone next time. Bye.